In this video, we're going to compare Softer to Card. Now, what is Softer? Softer is a platform where you can build websites, web apps, and client portals with Airtable within 10 minutes. And there are tons of different types of websites and web apps you can create. Now, what is Card? Card is a simple, free, fully responsive, one-page site. And this allows you to create really beautiful, landing pages or profile websites, all different types, you name it. Now, what are the advantages of one over the other? When looking at Softer, I can create an MVP or a minimal viable product very quickly. I can create a directory, an upvoting site, job board, online courses, food delivery, marketplace. You can do all of those things very quickly once you sign up for Softer and it starts for free and you can connect it with your Airtable account. It's really easy to start. And we have tons of other videos that show you step by step how to do it. Now, why would I use card? If I'm an artist or I'm trying to have a singular purpose, it's really easy to get started with card. And it's it's less tech overwhelm. It's easier to set up a site than say, um, Wix or Squarespace, all those things and they look beautiful. Let's take a look at the back end and take a look at what it looks like. If I'm using Softer, this site now allows you to build it very quickly by using blocks over here. So you can have headers, hero sections, and you can add it to the page very quickly. Call to actions, add all of like an opt-in with an email, all of those things. This is the back end of Softer. If I turn over to what card looks like, I can easily click the button where it says new site and I get tons of different templates that look really nice depending on if I'm doing this for my own profile, landing page, all of those things. I can pick it and easily I get started. I can select it. I can demo it before I decide to, to use it. So I can click demo right here. I can see what the template looks like, experience it, see what it looks like on mobile as well, optimize. And then right away when I pick it, I can automatically start editing it. Now here you can see one of the sites that we created, but it's really simple. It already gives me the dimensions of how I can be using it, saving it, how I can check if it's optimized for mobile. I can go through the site, change, come back. And then on the other side, I can just make minimal changes. Now, again, this isn't going to be hugely powerful, but it's really simplistic and you can get a lot done with these sites. In fact, there are so, some elements where you can drop code in different sections and this allows you to expand what you can do with a card site. But I think the magic of this site is how simplistic and how, how good it looks. The proportions are there. I don't have to think if I'm having trouble with design or I'm just, that doesn't come naturally. I think card makes up for it. And now I can just get to work with what I want. Again, it really depends on what you're looking for. And that's why we actually created a guide of how you would approach your tech stack. There's going to be a link down below or something like that to allow you to start working with purpose. There are so many other no code tools. There's so many platforms. It's really important that you focus on what are you building for? What are you so the purpose is what are you building for? Is it for a idea that you're trying to build out like an MVP and you're trying to see, okay, do I want to build a marketplace? Do I want to create a site or a directory or do I want to showcase my work? And that's more important. It's really, imp it's important to focus on what you're going to be using this for in the, in the mini course that we have, it shows you how to save time and make more money picking the right tool. And so if you're interested in that, you can grab it. It's free. There's going to be a link down below. Now, what I want you to do as well, let me know what you're working on. What kind of project are you trying to get done? What idea are you trying to bring into fruition? I'll see you in the next video.